Cezanne Ngabane is a, a woman human rights defender in KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. She has literally dedicated a lifetime to the quest for equality, for dignity, for rights and for justice for women through education, through training, through legal advice and empowerment across a great diversity of issues from women's rights issues through to land inheritance issues uh, through, to, through to the particular issues uh, faced by people with HIV AIDS uh, and also the discrimination and, and violence experienced by LGBTI persons in South Africa. She's been able to raise awareness um, in relation to the importance of women's economic um, emancipation and she's done all that in an area, part of, of South Africa, where there have been a lot of challenges in terms of access to land. Um, and her work needs to be located within the broader context of culture um, and how one finds that balance between cultural identity um, and rights. Uh, what you see is embezzlement of millions of acres of land where you see an incredible exploitation of this so-called traditional laws to take away land from uh, people rural people in general, and uh, even more so women. It goes even to the fact that uh, uh, some of these women are evicted from their natal or marital lands uh, after the death of her, their husband, for example. Sazani is a dedicated and passionate woman human rights defender. She's founded a rural women's network, which now is an umbrella organisation of over 500 NGOs. And right across the country, they are training girls and women in what their rights are and how to claim them in traditional courts uh, and elsewhere. In the world, in South Africa, is a better place, and women and girls in South Africa are better off thanks to the work that Cizani has been doing for so many decades. Decades of not giving up the fight, despite of all the things that happened to her. She has faced numerous threats. Uh, she has been raped, she has been almost killed. But that has not stopped her continuing to work in the way in which she has worked. She is not, not only a human rights defender in the true sense of the term, but she embodies one.